What's going on guys, Devil Artemis here, and today we have a unique topic for all of you. And as I announced before, I promised that I would be doing more movie topics and things like that. So today, I'm joined by my friend, Umberland Gaming. Alex, how you doing, man? What's up, man? I'm here to talk about some Star Wars. I cannot wait. Thank you for having me on the channel, bro. Star Wars? This video is about, about blowjobs. What are you talking about? Oh, oh, we're doing the porn review, right? Yeah, we're doing the porn review. Okay. Exactly. Okay. We're, we're going to be talking about The Last Jedi, okay? Now, for those of you who didn't know, I am a huge fan of Star Wars. Uh, we're going to be talking about the role of the upcoming movie and possibly take a deeper look into Emperor Snoke, who's actually going to be playing uh, um, you know, one of the major parts in the, in the upcoming movie. Uh, from what we know, Snoke has been alive for a very long time. Uh, he's seen the rise and fall of the Jedi, the Empire, yeah. Yeah, as well as the Empire. Uh, my question to you, Alex, is what do you think Snoke's role will be within The Last Jedi? Because we know that this movie, um, even from the title, the way that it looks, is just a blood-colored blood red uh, Star Wars instead of the, the natural gold yes, uh, natural yes, yes. color. You know, there's just something about this movie that's just going to um, top, quote-unquote, top uh the empire strikes back like right you know I i've heard that said before where the reveal in empire strikes back is anakin i'm your father how yes, is yes, yes. um the last jedi going to top that like what do you think snoke's role will be within this movie okay so i tried my best to stay away from spoilers and i i do want to thank you for having me on the channel because you're my mans you know what i'm saying so you know if shit comes down i mean Shit, this this ought to be the last Jedi for me and you. But what I really want to do is I, I'm hoping to see the movie with you when it comes out because I, I, I personally enjoyed Star Wars Episode 7. A lot of people were back and forth on it. They were saying, oh, it's it's a remake of, you know, an embodiment of the New Hope and this and that. And I think that Episode 7 uh, captured what needed to be uh, told for this Star Wars story involving Rey and this whole quest of finding Luke. Um, I think going into Episode 8, right, we're going to see... A definitive, uh, I, I would say, outcome be portrayed by Snoke in making his motives clear. I think that his primary motive, for me at least, would be to find Luke and possibly persuade him into abandoning. Because we, we understand, like, there, there's going to be uh, the reveal of the Grey Order um, and, and the Grey Jedi and stuff like that, and just you know the overall pecking order of the Je of the Jedi's uh, rule being changed. Um, I think that we are going to get a definitive rematch between. Ray and Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren is one of my favorites. I hate how he was portrayed to be such a sissy in, in, in the previous film. Right. Um, I, I get that he had temper tantrums and stuff, but placing him in a situation to where uh, he was in a duel with any sort of other Sith like Maul or Vader, I think he would lose. His his uh, his Force skills were amazing, um, and I think that, that that's what gave him the edge over certain situations, but I'm hoping to see Kylo Ren and Ray have another uh, saber exchange to where he possibly gets the one up on her but with snoke i don't i don't think snoke is going to be involved in any sort of combat like scenario or maybe any sort of role to where he's physically involved in fighting someone i think that he's going to more or less try to manipulate either luke skywalker or ray because maybe he sees something in them that he once saw in Kylo, but Kylo happens to be flawed because remember, I mean, even when he came back telling Snoke, hey, she resisted me, Snoke was like, you know, the scavenger resisted you? Like you, right, Kylo right. Ren? It's like, how? And there's something about Rey that pretty much, you know, has Snoke in uh, interested in her because he told her like, you know, bring her to me when you find her. So I think that either A, he might try to manipulate Luke or he might try to manipulate Rey. But you know what? I have a question for you. Do you think her parents are gonna be revealed? Because that's something that I really want to find out. So well, what, what are your thoughts on that? That definitely, I was going to touch into that later on in the video. That, okay. that I'm, I'm going to answer your question later on. But okay. um, I, I want to focus on Snoke right now because Snoke, uh, from what we don't know that much about him. And uh, I know that a lot of the characters that were involved in The Force Awakens, Snoke was only briefly, you know, featured in, in that movie. Yes, yes, we know yes. that he's just like some ancient guy who's old as hell and he has like... Uh, a deformed face um you said that you haven't seen any spoilers but they've released some images of snoke how he looks like oh yeah I i've seen that and oh. i've seen the size of his ship and his ship is a fucking it's, it's oh, a yeah. monster he, he's but, an you know Sith having him Lord. be drenched in gold like i saw his gold robes and right. stuff and i was like i, I didn't want to go deeper as to because i want to be surprised um you know after seeing episode seven i did see spoilers which made me want to go see the movie more but for this i'm like ah i'll be a little on and off with it because i don't want to see I, I don't want too much revealed uh, because i even prior to seeing episode seven i heard about kylo ren killing you know han solo i heard about 
uh, the uh, the altercation between Kylo and Rey and stuff. And right. that, even though it drove me to go see the movie more, I was just like, ah, I already know what's coming. You so for this, I don't, I don't want to see what's coming. But I saw his robe. I, I thought it was okay. I love his ship. His ship is amazing. Um, what, what did you think about it? In, in your well, opinion? I mean, what, what I what I noticed immediately about Snoke when I saw him, um, his face is, it looks more healed. I feel like there's a reason for Snoke, and and it brings back brings me back to the point with what Han Solo said to Kylo Ren, where he goes, he's just going to use you, and once he's done, he's going to crush you. That's yeah, what he told yeah. Kylo Ren, okay? I feel, what is the point of the Knights of Ren? What is the, what is the goal of Snoke? Yeah, and it yeah. seems that from the images that were released compared to how he looked like in the force awakens yes. his face looks like uh it's it's re rejuvenating like so it seems that he's healing whether he's absorbing the life force of other jedi i think that's why he's looking for luke skywalker because if he absorbs the life energy of luke skywalker or the force energy of luke skywalker he will be completely recovered so i think that is the reason uh, that is one of the biggest roles that Snoke plays in this uh, in this upcoming movie. I feel like that's the reason why he's looking for Luke. Um, it be not it, it's not the problem isn't that uh, Luke can stop his plans because think about it. Luke has abandoned um, any involvement in anything. You know he's been in hiding for forever. So I yeah, don't think yeah. you know Snoke is afraid that Luke is going to stop him. I just feel that he needs Luke Skywalker for a specific reason but moving on from luke skywalker and uh and emperor snoke uh, i want to get more into um the the lightsaber battles now yes. we know that kylo ren and ray had a battle and i know you said like comparing uh him being a, the sith lord that he is or the sith apprentice that he is to other sith lords like uh, palpatine or Count Dooku, um, Darth Maul, you know, other characters. And yeah, stuff his like saber that. skills in the seventh movie weren't all that. I'm, I'm hoping well, that he's improved. But looking at it from that standpoint, I'm like, yo, if you look at all the other Siths prior to him, it's like they, they were really skilled in, in, in terms of, you know, saber, saber combat. E even predating back to the uh, to the comics and to the books and stuff, we had uh, Darth Revan, we had various different, you know, Bane, we had various other yeah. characters that were very heavily skilled as they were skilled in the Force. So I, I just saw an imbalance with that because I was just saying to myself, how the hell does Rey, who has no saber experience, get the best of you on that one? Like, that's well, pathetic if you ask me. Well, well, the problem is, the problem is um, in this era that we are in right now, which is basically post uh, Order 66. Yes, yes, which was crazy. Yeah. Right now, the Jedi and the whole lightsaber forms, that's a lost art. It is. So, the reason why you would watch a movie like Star Wars Episode Three and Anakin and Obi-Wan are like, they're basically showing you what the prime of the Jedi are, where the lightsaber battles are extremely fast and furious and they do all the twirling and shit like that and all the crazy cool stuff. That's, that's the Jedi. That's what they yeah, used yeah. to be like. If you put anakin in his prime against someone like luke skywalker he can cut luke skywalker down in two strokes like not even joking like the the amount of agility and skill and determination that these jedi put themselves through focus to to detach themselves from all emotion and just focus on their lightsaber fighting style i believe i believe there are seven uh, lightsaber fighting styles um anakin's i believe was style number six i think obi-wan was number five qui-gon jinn used number one and um, I believe Mace Windu used number seven. I'm not sure. Or I think it was Palpatine who used number seven. But each of the, each of the lightsaber fighting styles determine the fighting style. And you can see that I don't think that's really touched upon in The Force Awakens. I don't yeah. know if, if Rey, Rey obviously not. She has no lightsaber training. That's why the battles seem more barbaric. Um, yeah, right, and I right, think J.J. Right. Uh, Abrams mentioned that in an interview where he was like, yeah, the, the, the lightsaber battles in this movie, um, it will, you know, give the fans what they want to see. But it's not what was of the previous films, because in the right. previous films, it was the Jedi at their prime when the Jedi were all powerful, blah, blah, blah. This is, you know, this is Kylo Ren. And who did he learn from? Theoretically, he learned from from Luke Skywalker, right? Luke Skywalker. Uh, who did he learn from? He learned from no one. I mean, he learned how to use the Force from Yoda, but technically he didn't have lightsaber training um, 
like as the same I guess you way. Can count Obi Wan, maybe. If um, anything, right? yeah, but but I mean, Obi Wan showed him, I guess, how to use the Force to like deflect stuff. But children who are raised because Jedi are raised at a young age to become to become Jedi. That's that was one of the major problems with being a Jedi that the Jedi were brainwashed from a young age to abandon emotion to detach themselves from anger from love you're not supposed you as a you're jedi not supposed to feel that. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah because that leads to the dark side apparently which is why yeah, it was you, such you want to make that clear too yeah yeah and he was it, that it was such a huge issue when qui-gon jinn wanted to take anakin as his apprentice um because he's like the boy is too old already he's like five <laughs> i mean he's young and in, in terms of how we see it yeah he's young but no they need they need like a child to be completely innocent and Anakin yeah, already wow. had experience he has attitude he has spunk and of course we see that later on with Obi-Wan with his rebellion and uh, he, he, he used to disobey his master and then apologize and like then he eventually turns to the dark side and we see why but the lightsaber battles definitely they are not um, I, I, they are not how they used to be in episode 7 my question for you is do you think that they will return to that glory do you think maybe in the next uh, episode um, because I believe J.J. Abrams, the one who made Force Awakened, I believe um, the director for Episode Nine was actually fired, and he J.J. Abrams yeah, was JJ returning. Came back, which I which I think is fitting, if you ask me. Oh, definitely. I enjoyed the Force Awakens. Listen, it wasn't like the best Star Wars movie in the whole world, but I enjoyed it. I I was super excited going to the movie theaters. I saw it three days early. It was supposed to release on. Oh, you did. Uh, not three days, two days. Yes, I I saw it. It was supposed hey, to release hey, on hey, Friday. Yeah, I, I saw mine in the dumpster. What? <laughs> yeah, this man. It was supposed to release on Friday, but I saw it Wednesday night, and it Ooh. was it was so awesome, bro. It, honestly, one of the best experiences of my life. And I wanted to go see it again, but the only reason I couldn't is because I had work. But I called out for that day. I was like, I can't come into work. <laughs> it was so crazy but yeah this is definitely the force awakens such a freaking awesome um, movie um not the best star wars movie i enjoyed episode three more than i did the force awakens uh, that's oh, my opinion a lot of people trolling you on that well, one well, you no, like listen the uh, you like the prequels? the prequels listen episode one and two are garbage episode three is good i, I listen anyone who disagrees I, I enjoyed episode three as well episode three that, is the best of all the prequels and it's the darkest of all the star wars movies like really really the, the the original trilogy of star wars is all about redemption the, the the prequels are all about the fall of anakin skywalker and of course the new set of of the new trilogy is probably we still don't know the clear story because it's not done yet but it seems it could go in different ways it could be the redemption of kylo ren or it could be you know the end of the jedi like we don't know because you know yeah, we're only yeah. up to the second movie but the next part i want to get into is do you think that anakin will play a part in this movie um, there was a big rumor that maybe his Force Ghost might appear. Right. Um, in trying to explain further to Kylo Ren about his deeds, because Kylo Ren has like this philosophy that Vader, Vader. did what he did, but he doesn't know about Vader's redemption. Mm -hmm. So that'll be kind of interesting. Well, to he see knows. He knows about Vader's redemption. He knows that he sees it as failure, though, because because Emperor Snow told him he said, uh, "Don't be seduced." Uh, by the light, the same way your 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 father did, y your well, grandfather yeah, yeah. did, yeah, yeah. Your yeah. yeah but the so thing is, the thing is, I think that if, if the Force Ghost concept does come into fruition, and we do see that, um, I think it will be a very interesting turn of events to see Kylo Ren respond to something like that because th this whole time he had this philosophy like Vader, Vader's uh, you know principle was always correct, but he just went about it uh, uh, you know the wrong way, and I'm gonna finish what he started, and you know whatever that may be. Um, I just think that there might be some sort of inclusion with a force ghost like concept and if that were to happen I, I really wouldn't mind it too much because it's like whatever did happen to his force ghost like did he ever have one can he have one after being redeemed all that kind of stuff so you know that would be interesting to see um, I heard Yoda might have one as well so that would that, be cool that that's gonna be a big thing um, I, and maybe maybe even you know Obi-Wan as well but with that being said Anything that has to involve Vader is not going to be shown in terms of like the actual Lord Vader. But with Anakin, I do see Force Ghost. I do see a Force Ghost concept appearing and trying to connect with Kylo. But something tells me, I don't know what it is. Something tells me that perhaps maybe Kylo Ren could be redeemed by the end of this film. But in which would set up for something even bigger to happen in Star Wars Episode Nine, Whether that be Kylo and Rey and Luke working together or maybe you know kylo's redeemed but maybe someone else turns to the dark side perhaps ray or luke 
which would be crazy. Can you can you imagine seeing Ray and Skywalker. Kylo, like like Ray and Kylo working together to defeat Luke Skywalker, or maybe you know like a twist? There has to be a twist to, to keep the audience invested. But so here's the thing, you know, though: the, the the title of the video is called "The Last Jedi." So I feel like, in my opinion, they could go two ways. Either Luke can stop being a Jedi because he's all about the Jedi ending, and he could turn to the dark and side. Die? No, well, I was that was one thing. One thing is either he could turn to the dark side and he can become a Sith, technically not making him a Jedi, or he could die because it's called The Last Jedi. And if we look at every single Star Wars movie, the title always corresponds with what's going on yes, in the story. Yes, yes. The Phantom Menace, which is obviously Darth Maul, uh, the, the Clone Wars, self-explanatory, yeah, yeah. and yeah, Revenge, Revenge of the Sith. Sith yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and then and every title following. So, The Last yeah. Jedi, obviously, someone's going to be The Last Jedi. Whether it's by the beginning or the very end of the movie, the title, bam, it hits you right in the face. You're like, oh, shit. She, I, oh my god, that means that she's the last Jedi. She has nobody to help her because Luke Skywalker, Luke Skywalker has just died. She has to deal with Yo, Kylo who's Ren. even saying it's her? What if what she's if, the one that dies? And uh, they, I don't know. Luke? I don't know, man. Well, that's 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 a huge jump. That 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 would be a huge jump because Rey's the main protagonist of, of the yeah, 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 of course. You know, that's crazy. That's like killing off Anakin Skywalker like in episode two. Because hey, we're, only, we're only two minutes in. Spice, bro. You never know. Hey, man, they're only two minutes in. That's crazy. But, um, you know, my next question was actually going to be about Rey and Kylo Ren. What do you think uh, her visions mean? And what do you think the outcome will, will I, mean? I, like, I'm you think hoping Kylo that, will I, turn? No, no I'm, I'm hoping that Kylo explains that maybe he saved her during the uh, Knights of Ren invasion. Um, because clearly in Episode 7, you see... One of the knights of Ren trying to well, trying to attack her, and then he stops them by stabbing them. So I'm hoping that he explains as to why he did that, right. and possibly saying, and possibly saying, I kept you around or something like that for such and such reason. But it's clear as day, bro. He fucking killed somebody to save her. He Do killed you think one of his they're own related? Do you think they might yeah. be? Re you, you think they might be related? Do you think that maybe he discovers that they're related that, somehow? See, that would, you know, at the end of the day, Disney made it clear. Uh, you know, Lucas made it clear. This is the 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 Skywalker movie. This the, the, this entire Star Wars concept it's follows the, the Skywalker bloodline. Everything yeah. ties back to the Skywalker bloodline. So there's for them only to be one related, way that she's force sensitive, and it has to be. You know what I'm saying? Related. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it really it really wouldn't shock me to no end. But oh my it, gosh, she's Anakin's daughter! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, there've been lots of people. Saying, <laughs> yeah. she's, uh, she's she's the reincarnation of Anakin. Yeah, which exactly. I'm like, nah. Exactly. Yeah, I know. Um, but you know what? My I, I I made a video a long time ago on my channel hoping that perhaps maybe she was related to Palpatine in some way, shape, or form. Really? Because you think so? It, it's, it's like it's like that would not only be a twist. But it'll be like it'll explain her powers having to be charted oh off God. the roofs. Imagine she is Palpatine's daughter. Holy shit, dude! You know, like like you know, she doesn't have to follow her father's footsteps. But the but the simple concept of them trying to keep her away of finding out who her father or family was, because maybe if she gained that understanding, she might end up like him. So it's like holy shit. You know, I would much rather see her be related you know to the to, to palpatine than a skywalker because it's like all right come on we've seen sky and then there's the other theory of her being related to obi-wan being obi-wan's daughter oh yeah that that is true i've seen that a bunch of so times. It, it's kind of like a mixture but i i honestly don't want it to be a part of the good guy club i want to see her have some sort of darker lineage well maybe that explains... that's it. maybe maybe that's you know the whole twist because they said they were gonna reveal something that triumphs the whole luke i am your father thing can you imagine ray is trying to destroy the sith and and basically um fulfill what this prophecy says a child Yo, what a clusterfuck that would be if she finds out that maybe palpatine is yeah her father and oh, then shit. you know we have we have we have kylo being redeemed and becoming a good guy and then ray switching on over and becoming a dark side user how crazy would that be it's like the, the roles are now reversed i know that would be fucking insane but it's like yo what is going on right now but i mean i'm super excited for the movie i really am i i'm i'm, I'm excited to see what goes down between kylo ren and ray i'm yes, excited so to see um how they they deal with the whole um princess leia situation because i know that uh, uh well, carrie fisher I, I did pass sure away yeah they're probably yeah. gonna CGI. they're probably gonna kill her off some somehow they have, yeah they have yeah. To. well actually well i i read articles i don't know how true this is they might save her for episode nine too because it's it's crucial but then again mm -hmm. It's well, like, you know, they need to, you know? It, it sucks because I'm sure they had a script 
And I'm sure they weren't going to include her in episode well, I, 9, I, but I now they have to. she finished her roles, did she not? Oh, yeah, she did. For episode 8, yeah, she oh, finished yeah, all her scenes. For episode 9, they're going to have to do something. Yeah, for episode 9, they're going to have to change something around because, you know, she, um, unfortunately, she passed away. Um, God bless her soul. But They're going to send Hit the Assassin? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what they're going to do. But, um, you know, this is going to be a great movie. I'm super excited. I can't wait. Guys, if you, you guys are excited uh, to see Star Wars The Last Jedi, please do hashtag dark side in the comment section. Uh, Alex, of course, thank you so much for joining me in today's topic thank discussion. Thank you, always. It was a pleasure. Guys, what do you think about The Last Jedi? What do you think uh, Emperor S the Snoke? What do you think his role is going to be? What do you think the relationship between Kylo Ren is and, and Rey? And also, what do you think Rey's backstory is because we're going to get revealed a whole lot of details in this upcoming movie. Luke Skywalker is going to play a huge role. It is going to be insane. Guys, as always, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, give this video a like, and of course, turn on notifications so you can be updated every time that I upload a video. Anyways, I'm Devil Artemis. This is Armorland Gaming, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace!